hey guys once again welcome to our channel hopefully you guys are doing great in today's video we'll be dealing with a new concept and that as you can suggest by today's video's thumbnail today we'll be dealing with atomic radius so without wasting our precious time let us just jump directly into the topic so atomic radius so we should be firstly familiar by definition what we mean by atomic radius so basically the atomic radius of an element is a measure of the size of an atom. It is half the distance between the two nuclei of two covalently bonded atoms of the same type. So let's just have a look at a diagrammatic snapshot of how can we measure the atomic radius of an element. So the example that we are going to consider in this situation is hydrogen of hydrogen molecule. Uh, what you have to do first, we have to take two hydrogen atoms, measure the distance between their nuclei. So how it looks like, let me just show you. So this is the distance that we have to measure, all right? After measuring the distance, you need to halve that distance. Basically, that's the radius of one element. So this is how it works. The atomic radius of a hydrogen atom is determined by halving the distance between the nuclei of two hydrogen atoms covalently bonded. So this is how it works. Moving on, the trends across the periodic table. Now atomic radii show predictable patterns across the periodic table. Okay, so we need to know those trends. So what happens as you move across each period, you will see that the atomic radius will generally decrease. And as you will move uh, down each group, you will see that the atomic radius will generally increase. And these trends can be explained by the electron shell theory. You see here. So considering the first situation, what happens when you move across the period? So the atomic radii decrease as you move across a period. You will notice that as you move across a period, the atomic number will increase. And that atomic number will indicate that the number of protons is increasing. That's the positive nuclear charge that is increasing. So what happens? At the same time, you're adding extra electrons because atomic number, as we have learned in our atomic structure, that atomic number is equal to the number of protons and electrons. So we know that as the atomic number will increase, the proton number will also increase. This means the electron number will also increase. And extra electrons will be added to the same principal quantum shell. Principal quantum shell refers to the um, refers to the outer shell. All right. And you will see that the larger the nuclear charge, the greater the pull of the nuclei on the electrons, which results in smaller atoms. Now, there is no shielding. There is no extra shells that you're adding so this means the as you will increase the uh, atomic number as the atomic number will increase the charge the nuclear charge will also increase and will have and it will have a greater nuclear attraction for the outer electrons which will result in smaller atoms taking the situation and this is why the atomic radii will decrease as you move across a period now considering the second scenario in which uh, as we move down the group so what happens as you move on the group? The atomic radii will decrease, move, will increase moving down the group as there is an increased number of shells going down the group. Now what? Uh, now you might be wondering that what this increased number of shells will have any effect on that atomic radii. So let me just tell you that what happens as you are uh, as the increased as the number of shells are increasing, the electrons will the inner shells repels will repel the electrons in the outermost shells, shielding them from the positive nuclear charge. So you will see that um, that you are increasing the number of shells. This means the electrons in the inner shells uh, means the shells closer to the nucleus will repel the electrons in the outermost shells that are further away from the nucleus, and these inner shells will repel the will shield the. Uh, outer electrons from the positive nuclear charge and this will hence this will weaken the nuclear attraction and the atomic radii will increase all right and this will result in larger atoms moving on this is the a diagrammatic snapshot of how it looks you can see that atomic size is decreasing atomic radii is decreasing as you're moving across a period one second uh, Sorry. 
so you will see here now you can see that as you are moving across a period the atomic radii is getting smaller 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 and as you are going down the group you can see you will notice that it keeps on getting bigger so you, these are the trends that we should be familiar with and how it happens we need to explain with reference to the shielding with reference to the nuclear charge etc that we have that we have covered in the previous slide moving on now if you look this diagram that i have just showed you now the diagram shows that the atomic radius increases sharply between the noble gas at the end of each period and the alkali metal at the beginning of the next period so you can see here that this is the last element one second one second guys yeah this now you can see here that this is the last element in this period and this is the first uh, first element in the second period this is a noble gas and this is a alkali metal you will see that as you will the diagram this will the diagram shows that the atomic radius sharply increases it between the noble gas at the end of each period and the alkali metal at the beginning of the next period so there is some kind of understanding that we need to have why this happens so if you come back to this slide okay so you will see that this is because the alkali metals at the beginning of the next period have one extra principal quantum shell and why does this happen because you are going down the group you are going down the successive group and this helps will increase the shielding of the outermost electrons and therefore it will weaken weaken the nuclear attraction and therefore increasing the atomic radius and that's it for today's video um in the next video, we'll be covering the ionic radius. So make sure you just subscribe to that button so you receive, um, so you just receive that video. And make sure to press the bell icon as well. Hit the like button. Comment down below. That's it. Cheers.